It's time to get very excited about the year ahead. Oh, and Baldur's Gate 3. Here are the most exciting games from PAX East 2020. It's the morning after the PAX East before, but that's no reason to be sad. The 2020 event delivered a frankly ludicrous number of games to be enthusiastic about. Once again, there's no shortage of totally adorable indies on the way, cosy simulators, relaxing puzzles, and more attempts to steal Animal Crossing's crown than Tom Nook is probably ready for. 2020 is going to be another brilliant year for, oh, just five more minutes? That ends up being a lifetime. Here then are the most exciting games from PAX East 2020. Mind flayers, tentacle ships, people riding dragons. All our wildest D&D dreams have come to life in Baldur's Gate 3. The epic fantasy RPG received a chaotic yet entertaining gameplay demo at PAX East. And if you weren't already hyped, you will be now. Your character and a whole host of other unlucky randoms are infected with an evil power that you can choose to fight or embrace. But thanks to the breadth of choice, how your plans play out will be different with each playthrough. The world is vast and, in true Dungeons & Dragons fashion, everything comes down to the dice. So you can explore to your corrupted heart's content, but Hey, just pray your rolls work out okay. Spells to fire, swords to wield, NPCs to seduce. We can't wait to get evil tadpoles sucked into our brains and start the Baldur's Gate 3 quest. Wait, no, that sounds wrong. That thing is going to consume us from the inside and turn us into mind flayers. And now from the gloriously sublime to the punny ridiculous. I promise Kiwi isn't just on this list because of its beaky play on words, but the name is definitely what got us interested. Ready your tongue for the gross taste of envelopes as you join the adorable Jeff and Deborah in their post office. Here you must label up envelopes, jump on levers and send out packages, all while being the size of a small feathery golf ball. And it's not just size we'll have to deal with. There are environmental threats and weather delays that threaten the perfect flow of your postal paradise. Even better is that Kiwi is co-op, so you can dive into mail delivery with someone with an equally organised mind. Or Matt. Just don't think about our Wilmot's Warehouse Let's Play for how that one will work out. A lot of the games on this list are bright, squishy, adorable. But if you were to use one word to describe help will come tomorrow, it'd be unflinching. It takes place in the Siberian wilderness after the October Revolution and features a desperate group of passengers struggling to survive after the Trans-Siberian Railway disaster. It's part survival game, part conversation sim. You'll need to look after basic needs like food, resources and security, but also the human elements like maintaining relationships between vastly different classes in the wake of huge societal upheaval. You'll have to deal with environmental dangers, personal weaknesses and the prejudices that run rife in turn-of-the-century Russia. And if you want your group to survive, you'll have to force them to go against their beliefs and work together. Which could either be brutally depressing or magically life-affirming, depending on how it all turns out. If the escapists dreamt of warm sands and blue seas while they gazed at their prison walls, the survivalists is exactly what would happen if they got out and somehow reached a tropical island, complete with monkeys. So many monkeys. Chopping down wood and picking up supplies isn't new for 2020, but this top-down, procedurally generated world from Team 17 is still a tantalising proposition. 
While you've got your own crafting recipes and skills, the most exciting element here depends on monkey management. Feeding and befriending this army of banana-loving creatures means you can get help with construction and even backup when you go on raids. And here we were, hoping that this was an island paradise where we could put our feet up and appreciate the little things in life. Like the monkeys. We've talked about it before on the channel, but that doesn't mean that Fall Guy's Ultimate Knockout is any less valid to mention now in its release year of 2020. Inspired by all manner of ludicrous physical game shows, Fall Guys pits you against slews of other absurd jelly beans on legs in pursuit of the ultimate prize. A giant golden crown. Ooh. Whether you're stealing a tail from other wobbly contestants or slamming through walls and hoping the bricks crumble, this is the kind of party game that takes a matter of seconds to master but feels as impossible to stop as a popular stackable crisp brand. And if you don't feel like you can truly be yourself with just an original wobbly avocado fall guy, apparently we'll be able to customise them to our heart's content. The words cosy and death management probably shouldn't be in the same sentence, but that's exactly why Spiritfarer works so well. Somehow, building a boat to take the souls of lovely animal friends to the afterlife is one of the experiences that we just can't wait for this year. As Stella the Ferrymaster, joined by Daffodil the Cat, we must build new rooms, harvest crops, fish, and even hug your passengers as you travel across the water. This is all about building relationships, helping others, and taking in the beautiful sights of a Ghibli-esque world of magic and secrets. Imagine Animal Crossing or Stardew Valley, but with a twist of absolute heartbreak when you have to say goodbye, and you've nailed the melancholy beauty of Spiritfarer. What better way to make some new pals than with food? Rolling Hills Make Sushi Make Friends is a cosy life management sim about opening up a restaurant and building a community around it. It turns out that rice and seaweed is only the beginning of Rolling Hills. You'll need to make friends at trivia night, go fishing, organise your garden and even supervise adorable construction in town. There's also a sushi robot that you can train to endlessly roll delicious treats while you're not playing, and customisable furniture to make everything look pretty. No, we just won't mention that Animal Crossing should probably be writing to its lawyers on pretty letter-headed paper with frogs on it. It's time to get some perspective. If superliminal whet your appetite for size-based puzzling, Maquette looks like it takes it to the next beautiful level. Another eyeball treat from indie publisher Annapurna Interactive, this is an Escher-inspired delight with layers upon layers of recursive models that mean that you are at once enormous and also truly tiny. Manipulating the smaller world in front of us by adding giant boxes or even keys also means that we change our immediate surroundings. Oh, so this is how it must feel to live inside a model village with a rogue toddler with bricks. Great. If it all sounds very Caterpillar from Alice in Wonderland, it kind of is. But we can't wait. Welcome to Elk is about storytelling. And while the story it tells is on a fictional island, it's woven together with true tales from real people. Welcome to Elk loves the stories that we tell as human beings and wraps up a bundle of them in a series of unique mini-games as we explore a colourful town as a young carpenter. The unique characters of Elk are all based on real storytellers who even crop up in the game itself in other ways. There's not always a happily ever after here, as not all stories in life actually have one. But there's a constant sense of creativity and the simple delight of a well-told tall tale.
Imagine if a Tamagotchi broke out of its little plastic casing and opened up into a vibrant world for you to explore. In Alchemic Cutie, you discover colourful jellies in 4,000 unique styles to bring home and tame. But it's not just about caring for your squishies, as, like the title says, you'll be able to use alchemy to boost their innate jelly abilities. Then, when they're perfectly evolved, you can enter competitions to rinse the other island inhabitants. Just like other charming RPGs, there are NPCs to befriend, quests to follow, and seasons to enjoy. All the while, you'll be mastering the jelly-keeping systems to create the most adorable, most powerful creatures alive. So that's the 10 most exciting games from PAX East this year. Let us know what you're looking forward to in the comments below, drop us a like if you enjoyed this video, and don't forget to subscribe to Logitech G for more new game coverage just like this. If you do already subscribe, hit that notification bell so that you know when our next video lands.